As a truck driver, your your mornings is going to vary as far as what time you have to wake up. It all depends on the customer, it depends on the freight. Typically, my morning normally starts around 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, normally one of my daughters is up as well. It gives me a little bit of time with them uh, before going to work. And then about 5 o'clock or so, I usually you know, start driving to the terminal. And uh, you know, once I get to the terminal, that's when uh, you know, I check out the truck and make sure everything's good to go, make sure it's safe to be put on the road. My name is Chris Wooten. I'm a driver trainer here at CT. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Alabama, and my grandfather, he started driving in, I believe it was 1964. And then my dad, he started driving around um, 91 or so. And uh, it's always been the way that, um, the, the main source of income for my family. Um, when I got out of the military, it was, um, the, you know, the economy, it wasn't the best. And I knew that I could make good money, you know, driving trucks. And I knew, uh, I knew how the industry worked for the most part and decided that was the route I was going to take. We're 100% flatbed. We haul building materials such as sheetrock, lumber, shingles, and basically anything like that. Our main focus is definitely safety and just making sure it gets there on time and without any damage to the product. Uh, the safety inspection is exactly that. It's basically an inspection to make sure that you're safe on the road, I'm safe on the road, and all of our families are as well. You don't want to put any truck on the road that's going to cause any kind of incident that you could have prevented by simply you know, inspecting it before you put it on the road. We always want to check uh, our tire pressures to make sure we're not going to have a blowout that we could have prevented. You want to check your, all your fluids, you want to make sure that you know, on your suspension nothing's leaning, your steering linkage, make sure that it, it's nice and tight. It sounds like a time consuming, but once you get used to it, uh, it usually takes anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to do a full, complete, what we call pre-trip inspection. At CT, we are a flatbed company, and along with that, you you know you have uh, tarping loads, you have securing loads. Uh, it's nothing to worry about as far as coming to work here. It's nothing that you know that anybody can't achieve. Uh, what I like about it personally, and the reason I've always you know stuck with flatbed is because it gives you usually around an hour at the beginning of the, of the day, and then an hour halfway to the end of your day to um, just you know do. It's like a little cardio. Um, so it keeps you a lot healthier. They're going to send you your route. They're going to send you where you're going. They're going to send you uh, any appointment times you might have. All of it's going to be on a, just an easy to read, easy, easy to understand screen. Whenever you do get your load, whenever you're loaded, you're going to send in a, a pretty simple message to fill out. You're going to, everything is right there. You just fill it in. And uh, you're going to give them a proper, a, a good ETA of when you're going to be there. That way they can start planning your next load so that you're not sitting waiting once you do deliver that load. Then once you do get to the customer, the consignee, you're going to send you what's called a delivered call. That's when they're going to send you that load that they were planning on you, and it's just a constant rotation of that. I don't know any other career, I mean, without a college degree, of course, that uh, you can make what you, what you make starting out. And, and you can make it to top pay, and you know, sometimes as quick as you know, 10 months to a year, you can be making just as much as somebody you know, that's done it a, a lot longer. It's really about how much you're willing to, to work to you know, achieve whatever goals you have. As long as you do your job and you're doing everything you know, correctly, uh, you pretty much have the freedom to, you know, you plan your trip, you plan your breaks, you run uh, the hours you want to run as long as you're there on time. I mean, the dispatchers are one of the main reasons that, that I will continue to work here. It's not like a lot of these companies where you call in and you're just uh, a truck. You're, you're not a person. You just They want to see how much freight they can push with that truck. Customer service and the dispatchers and our terminal manager, uh, they put countless hours into making sure that every, driver, every driver's needs are, are really taken care of to the best of their ability. I'm a local driver, so I'm home every night, and uh, that means the world to me and my family. I get to you know, watch my kids grow up. I get to be with them every day. When I walk in the door, uh, my oldest runs and gives me a huge hug. And that just means the world to me. All I can tell you is here at CT, it's, a, it's an awesome experience. Uh, they really do care about your family. They really do care about you getting home. And they, they put a lot of effort in, into making sure that that happens.